finally, a video game adaptation that stays true to the video game, which means it has absolutely no plot. We saw Street Fighter, so you know what that means. Now it's time for... Hello, people of Earth, and welcome to another episode of How Did This Get Made? I am Paul Shear, joined, as always, by my two co-hosts. Please welcome June Diane Rayfield. How are you, June? Good, how are you? Very good. And also Jason Manzoukas. How are you, Jason? Ah, uh, Paul, pretty good. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> we have a very special guest uh, on the show today. Uh, super funny guy. You will see him in the upcoming new season of uh, she Heart, She Holler. Please welcome John Gemberling. Hi, thank you. Hi, We're very excited to have you on the show. Very Talk excited about to this. Be here. This movie, I never <laughs> saw this movie, uh, Street Fighter, the Jean Claude Van Damme classic uh, with Raul Julia, who was dying of horrible stomach cancer I mean, throughout this film. Is this his final movie? Final movie. Yeah. That is depressing. Yeah. It's really sad. Um, but gives a good performance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As, uh, Did you see at the end of the movie? It says for, for Raul Viacondias. Viacondias, <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. It's what comes up like directly after the last oh, shot. Oh, the movie the credits. Yeah. Viacondias. <laughs> I will say in doing some research for this movie, um, you know, I was like looking around online. There's a lot of like making of Street Fighter, the movie. And, you know, they have like, there's a big fight scene, obviously, between Jean Claude Van Damme and Raul Julia, the fight that everyone's been wanting to see. These two people <laughs> These face two off. These two titans of, of physical. Uh... Not since Ben Gazzara and Patrick Swayze <laughs> has there been a, a fight scene that you really got to get in the mix of. Um, but uh, they had all these fight scenes, and you see like Jean Claude in his outfit, and, <laughs> and Raul Julia is in. A beautiful bathrobe with like a neckerchief, yeah. like, and it's like he's rehearsing these fight scenes in a neckerchief and bathrobe. I was like, classy motherfucker, lady. Like, I just oh, wait, love but it. Those is that his, his rehearsal outfit? It was his rehearsal outfit. It was That's not his civilian his, clothes. It was not his character's clothes because they are not the same thing. It was, but it wasn't the wardrobe from his like s- seduction, seduction scene. scene? No. no, it was in the final scene. So it was like it was a white bathrobe with a uh, with this like beautiful <laughs> folded over. Like, he's a classy, classy guy. The, um, th- this movie, man, I end? couldn't figure this thing out at I all. Mean, Could not make heads or tails. I of... didn't understand who was who. I didn't Did understand. Did you guys play the video game? No. no. I mean, I played it in the arcade, but I didn't like. I mean, does it follow anything? I mean, I didn't think that the, this, no, is, no, a, no, this is a video game where two people just fight. Street it's like, Fighter it's like, is like a button smasher, right? Yeah. yeah there's yeah. not like a. But I gotta a, ask though, John. It's because you've played the video game. Mm-hmm. So who yeah, in the video game is a Street Fighter? Well, they're all street fighters. Yeah, they're all street fighters. All, even though... Wait. I love the way you just said, who in the video game is a street fighter? Well, like, they're, they're so all just, everybody's such fighting. Such enunciation. Just like, okay, but, but Jean-Claude Van Damme is not a street fighter. No. Oh, well, and yeah. And two guys... Uh, that's what I'm saying in the movie version of it who are we to look to to say like this is a street oh the boxer and the sumo wrestler you know like in the cage fighting ring the guy with the the guy with the spikes on his thing yeah Vega okay Um, but the Jean-Claude Van Damme character our hero is not a street fighter I guess no (laughs) Uh, no (laughs) but he's capable of it he's capable of hand to hand combat is he also in the video games that character yes Guile and he is, I think he's in the Air Force, though. He's not in the AN. Well, the AN, which is clearly the United Nations did not want their name on this. They're like, <laughs> of course the not. Allied yeah, Nations, the <laughs> Allied Nations. And they couldn't be in the Air Force either. They're like, yeah, yeah, we're not getting behind. And Van Damme, <laughs> isn't he a colonel? He's a colonel. Yes. Yes. Would he, a colonel be like running an entire operation <laughs> no. in a country? No, no. no. He seems to be the most important military figure in the world. And by the way, I was kind of shocked at one point in the movie because I did not get that he was a this whole AN thing, but at a certain point he takes off the jacket and you reveal like this big American flag mm-hmm. on his bicep. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're American? Like, you're fighting in this allied <laughs> nation. Like, you don't have to be American. You yeah. could be a French Foreign Legion. You could be anything. Like, you don't have to and be an American. So, it's and, such a weird choice. And being that he is himself not American <laughs> yes. and cannot speak with an American accent. It's so weird. Well, and is the, the sentiment is like, it's America versus Shadaloo. Yeah, <laughs> Sh- the <laughs> small know, like country. Indonesian country <laughs> where the main the main plan I guess is that Raul Julia. Yeah, I want someone to take a stab at this. Is what I get. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit back and listen Ra- to this. So Raul Julia captured like about sixty tourists. 
And no, now, I thought they were. See, I thought they were AN workers. I think they were AN workers. Oh, uh, okay. So he got like some workers, and then he's holding them hostage for twenty billion dollars, mm-hmm. which is so a that he can go amount. So that he can build what was it, like his own Bisonopolis. Bisonopolis. <laughs> thank you. Right, a, a, a fake city in in this uh, architecturally that's designed to look like his logo. And uh, where one of the main features is the food court that the major food chains can buy into. Yes, which he was very concerned because they're all going to want to get in they're there. They're all going to want to get in. <laughs> and so what does he want to happen there? The I Bisonopolis? don't know. Uh, yeah, the Bisonopolis doesn't seem like – it seems like that's a very <laughs> benign goal. It doesn't seem like – and he's going to launch terror attacks. It just seems like he'd like to build a giant mall. Well, he wanted, he well, wanted the, the, like the Pax Bisonia or whatever. Whatever, whatever oh. he despot wants to conquer so much that they can bring peace. Yes, what exactly. Oh, I did not get that. Yeah. <laughs> so, whoa, 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 wait, wait. I'm sorry. You have to say that again a little bit. Say that again, John. So he he's actually yeah, fighting he, for good? Well, you know that like – that despotic thing of like, you know, I'm going to take over everything so then I can bring peace. So then I'll rule everything and then it'll be peaceful. I do know that thing. (laughs) (laughs) I do know it. I do know it. Um, (laughs) That's what he said, but he's got a, you know, he's a megalomaniac. Right. So, yes. Okay. So that's the idea that we're not, you know, he's saying that, but we, we, we might suspect otherwise. We might suspect. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) he's, he's like a mass murderer. He's like Idi Amin. Yeah. Listen, exactly. He's a stone cold cuckoo bananas person. Okay. Which, by the well, way, because, by, by the one way, of the though, themes of the movie, and this sorry to interrupt, Paul, but this is why I bring it up, is because I did feel that there was a theme emerging of like the, the lines between good and evil are not as distinct as we think they are. Oh. Well, <laughs> wait, wait a second. What? Well, I think that was one think, of the themes of the movie. Uh, that, I don't like, know. I think every, it's pretty clear who's good no, and who's not, bad. No, because it's actually one of our street Zang- fighters. Zang- Zang- Zangief. Zangief was too stupid oh. to understand. And even how to do a thumbs up properly, right? But also, <laughs> oh wait, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, because he gives the side thumbs up, and then they turn it. But at by the, the way, end, that guy, <laughs> he's amazing, and he delivers. He, he delivers on every level. Oh wait, but, Zangief is in Wreck It Ralph. Oh yes, <clears throat> yes. Oh, uh-huh. I, that's yeah, yeah. where I know that character from. His <laughs> other acting job in Wreck It Ralph. The I'm just other- kidding. The cartoon character. <laughs> The other, um, one of the other guys, I don't, again, I don't know who they were. I don't know how they relate to the story. What did they wear? They, okay, so they were the guys, the Asian guy and his buddy. Okay, the kung fu, where, the gi wearing the guys. Ken, yes. Ken, Ken and Ryu. Okay, yeah. so. Th- who, by the so way, I the thought lines. had a very sexualized relationship. I really? Think, I thought there was a little connection between, like, well, you're always looking for gay stuff in the movie. <laughs> hey, yeah. look, I like it. I like <laughs> these guys really getting together. Yep. I thought that they played off that a little bit, but go ahead. I will get back I to that. I didn't see that, but but Ken <laughs> did say that he he didn't know which way he was going to go, if he was going to be a good guy or a bad guy. Right. And then when the monster was being created, he was supposed to be created <laughs> for God. evil, but then there was a moment of like, well, how does he know what's evil and what's good? Right. So a- anyway, I did think that that was one of the themes. So of there's the movie. a blurring line of good of, of who's good yeah, and who's it's, evil it's for the as... very stupid, <laughs> for the for the genetically enhanced. Yeah. <laughs> well, I felt like they were creating the mo- but they were creating the monster which is just the incredible Hulk. Um, oh, by it the is way, like the worst. Why does he need to be green? Like, why does he why? need to be like he was, was green. He green? Blanca is green. Blanca in, yes. in the game is green and has Oh, orange oh, hair. oh, all right. Oh, okay. But I mean, but I, I love that all of the our indignation okay. is instantly I'm so by the way so glad you know all of this yeah. because if 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 you didn't, we would just be here being like, "Why is he green?" and blah, blah, and the message Boards would just be like, "Have you not seen the game? How do you not play the game? How do you not know who Ryu is? Are you fucking kidding me?" But see, it doesn't totally justify it because I feel like if you're gonna, if we're gonna see the scene in which he becomes that character, then I do want to understand a little bit. Like, I know his muscles are expanding, but I don't still understand why he's green. He became green. We became yeah. green with all the anger. Uh, well, clearly they were pumping some sort of chemical in his body as they had these large, uh, these comically large bags. It was like enhanced DNA, like the way that you would kind of yeah. put like like water in a bag at a hospital or something like, like that. Like a saline drip. A saline drip. And it like, like, but he, as he was expanding, he was also being brainwashed by these images. 
Like Which, Clockwork R in style. And, and was, I love, by the way, that there was a, a, a totally pre-prepared, pre-edited good imagery right? yes. to be piped okay, in. Okay, but I'm here's wild. what that was. Here's what the good imagery was. Wait a second. Wait, wait. Uh, good imagery it was, was a wedding. It was a wedding. A, wedding, a black payment. wedding. A black wedding. <laughs> There's two weddings. First a regular wedding with white people, then a black wedding. And then Martin Luther King Jr. doing the I Have a Dream speech. Yep. Wait, but then there's, wait, fuck. And dolphins. Dolph, that was it. I was like, dolphins? <laughs> yes. What is this now? That it represents all that is good. A African-American wedding, I have a dream, and dolphins. And then that and will. And a white wedding. And a white wedding. And that will, that will just even you out. That will, <laughs> oh that will take God. the edge off the, not the, the, uh, like violence in Vietnam. Uh, Hitler references and uh, that shit when they showed the good re- the good stuff it my mind exploded when it was white wedding followed by black wedding. I was, Take issue with that. I was like, what? You don't what think, you don't think that is the good on? stuff? I was. I genuinely was like, why are we letting them marry? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, I really was like, this is the craziest package of happy things to show people. White wedding, black wedding, Martin Luther King, dolphins. It felt like it felt like that. It felt like the guy who had to edit it had to do it very quickly. He was like, ah, I don't know how to work Final Cut. This will do. These yeah. three things are fine. He was already in the stock images folder for wedding. Oh my so god! He was just like, ah, oh, we'll use both of these. So oh, basically, so there's three days until Bison is going to. Oh, uh, Take over the world and kill the hostages. So, who's he hostages. asking for the $20 billion? The AN? From London, right? I thought well, the, the AN. Well, at the end, the <laughs> AN has agreed to pay it, so I guess it's their authorization. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. But the right guy there. has a British accent, which is why I think it's a little confusing. Because didn't he say that the British pound was going to go up? Like, Bison's also created his fake money for oh, Bisonopolis. Right, right, right. Well, like his Disney. next plan is to kidnap the queen oh, and force that's them to yes. adjust the uh, monetary Currency. rate so that his his Bison credit is five times Worth five times more than the past. I got confused. All right, that's 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 the <laughs> that's, sequel. That's over that's here. That's sequel. over here. Which, by the way, is set up in a brilliant post-credit sequence. <laughs> um, I didn't watch it. Oh well. Uh, in the end of the movie, uh, you know, the the whole castle. Off, spoiler alert: blows up. Uh, that that uh, Bison lives in, and then all of a sudden his body is rebooting online. It's like Commander Bison. What would you like to do? And it's like world domination replay. And he's going to, you See, know. See, I thought nice. that that, the sequel, not having seen any of the sequels, was going to be the monster character. Blanca. Yes. Coming back, like, an Incredible Hulk style. Yeah. The, yeah. Well, that was strange. <laughs> How much do we jump around? Oh, we know. We, we know. Yeah, we could. Well, you know, I feel like this movie. Oh, I. Yeah, I, yeah we could jump yeah, around. Yeah, I literally yeah. don't know what the fuck is happening. Yeah, yeah. get in wherever you Yeah, can. jump wherever you Well, that was strange that the Indian guy, Dasim. Yes. And Blanca just decided. Did you guys remember these names? Because like, they're well, characters they're in video games. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, I didn't know decided, what was happening. They decided to die, or they decided to, they're like we're staying, but they were staying in a place that was blowing up. I thought they were saying like we can't go with you and live your life. I have a plan. We're gonna go and do our thing, figure out our lives, and we'll get back to you. It we're, seemed like they were saying no. We're it was staying. a suicide mission. Oh wow, but Blanca Absolutely. was Charlie. Yeah, which right? it took me a yeah. little beat to figure that I, out. I, I couldn't did not figure that out that. at all, and that's not a, a true thing that happened in the video game. Like that's not. Giles friend. Well, just even before that know. happens, no, I, I have so. to remind us of the moment where Jean Claude sees Blanca for the first time and within seconds decides to kill him. <laughs> He's yeah. gonna mercy him. Yeah, it's, because this yeah. is a child. This is a movie child. for children. PG thirteen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then that's a little. But no, no. But I mean, th- th- but still. By the way, when John Claude he, talks about he it, he's like, "I'm very excited so to make a child." Yeah, for he basically is like, oh, "I'm going to put you out of your misery by putting a bullet in your, your head." head. And With Blanca, you staring at me. Blanca can still speak. Yep. Can still reason. Yes. Yeah. Recognizes Absolutely. him. I mean, none of this is adding up to mercy kill time. He's a little <laughs> bit yet. deformed. Hey, not yet. Right. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> uh, by the way, the way that Charlie is chosen to become Blanca. Oh my God! Is, this is so crazy. Uh, like basically, like. Like uh, like Jean Claude Van Damme takes over control of like a newscast, and he's, and he's gonna and he's young at Bison. Like, hey Bison, you, you know, like we're I know coming he, for you. And he does like a like a, a wrestling kind of slam where you like put your elbow like into the palm of your like your palm of your hand. Like, Ooh, I'll give you a little of that. Like, like, like <laughs> so all right. Weird. Like, it was all because so it became like a wrestling ad. And then in the middle of this like threatening Bison, he's like, and Charlie. 
I'm coming for you, man. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get you back. Like, what, what? why would you reveal anything that you knew? Like, why would you yeah. reveal that information? He's the worst soldier. Yeah. You're, and, putting, you're putting the hostage at way more risk. And by the way, it just happens that Charlie happened to be standing right there on the, as they were kind of like checking out the terror. Uh, the, and his the, name is Carlos. Oh, Carlos. Car- right? <laughs> no, it's no, Charlie. Carlos. It's it Charlie. Was Car- they called him Carlos, but I think Charlie is his. Charlie oh, is his nickname. Name. Yeah. And so that because that was the thing he was like Charlie we're, we're well, Charlie don't worry we're gonna come and get you Charlie and then then, then Raul Julia walks up to him and takes out his dog tag right. and goes Carlos whatever Dude. Charlie and I was like <laughs> what no that's not right at all his name is Carlos <laughs> By the way, uh, more than I than ever, this is a movie that introduces a shitload of characters so quickly. You're like, yes. oh, what, what? Okay, and then they're all lying about what they're doing. Like, a lot of them are like, you don't know. Well, they're where all they're- secret street fighters. That's the thing, right? Well, they, some are all arms the- dealers. I mean, uh, R- uh, Ryu and Ken are arms dealers. But they're deal- street fighters. Uh, yeah, I guess. guess I'm going to ask a really dumb question. <laughs> but yes. I was going to say, I just like that they're, by the way, Ken and Ryu's thing is that they deal toy guns? Like, that's their plan? Yeah, they're tennis like, well, ball guns. How, yeah. Like, but that's but their but that's plan? Scheme. Like, that's their scheme? It's really bad they create these elaborate looking guns that, that like, they're not, they're Where not the that, barrels are the size of tennis balls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, to me, it's like, just create a realistic looking gun. You don't have to provide the tennis ball. Or don't have any them. guns at all. If the plan is go to the pier and get our guns. Yeah. <laughs> Just have nothing there. I mean, just be lying. Yeah, why do you have to go? Yeah, why do you have to manufacture the fake guns? And Not, then they were holding them at gunpoint, and they were, like, afraid, like, they yeah. were really having guns pointed at well, them. Well, those tennis balls come out pretty quick. Quick, quick <laughs> question, and I may be revealing too much about myself, but what exactly, and I know you, I think you answered it a couple minutes ago, but what exactly is a street fighter? <laughs> okay, so, like, there's a... <laughs> It's like what? underground. <laughs> <laughs> it's like underground what exactly fighting. What is a street fighter? Like, did you ever see Bloodsport? That's like a legitimate sort of underground fighting. <laughs> Van Damme was also in that. It's, it's like, like Fight Club, but like it's like Fight Club. It's right? like it's underground like, fighting. It's ring. like yeah. It's like dog fighting with humans. So when Where they're in the cage, on, yeah. that is street fighting. When yes. they're in the cage, yeah, I mean, I guess it could be on the street cage though. fighting, but I mean, you know. yeah, street fighting is like sort of like what. Remember when we saw the the um, Mike Tyson show? He yeah. said that he would do street fighting. Like he would go, he would beat up like thirty year old men in the street. Like okay. people get paying okay. money. Great. So was the woman, the Asian woman, Chun Li? Chun Li. Chun Li. Now is she a street fighter? <laughs> She's I guess I just want to get a real hand on the video okay. game. Okay. They're all street fighters, right? But well, the video game you would argue there's no other plot besides the fact that you pick a character and then you fight with them, and then well, that's... except that there is an expanded universe. I mean, there are cartoons of this and okay. stuff that's come out over the years. So I actually looked up Shadowloo, and it's not a country in the game. It's Bison's organization. Oh, okay. Shadowloo. So I don't know why they called it. The country Shadowloo. Oh, okay. So this is just more of a. So that's his. Or, like that's his evil. Yeah. So basically, what it game. is is. It, I mean, the game is a fighting game, and it, they just populate it with all of these characters who have different fighting styles. You know. So there like are Mortal there Kombat is yeah. like that too. There's a boxer. There's a there's okay. kung fu guys. There's Chun-Li, a ninja. Like Chun Li used to do a cool thing with I her guess leg. Here's or my problem. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she had a speed it, it, uh, speed I, kick. Yeah. John, here's my problem with it, though. Those are, those types of fighting, though, would they be normally be found on the street? <laughs> no, see, this is what I'm not <laughs> Well, in the game, most of the locations are outdoors. Is- <laughs> Some of them are streets. Yeah. <clears throat> I know is- in the game, but I guess what I'm saying is... <laughs> the, movie, the movie is not trying to document an actual thing yeah. that exists. Right. The movie okay. is trying to approximate a video game. Well, the right. movie is also... Well, hold on. <laughs> Asking about the video game. This, the movie is also not good. It's not a good representation of Street Fighter. Oh, it's okay. not? It's as if... I'm just kidding. <laughs> they, just took, they took the characters, and they basically took the characters and populated a world in a very different way. It's as if the writer of the movie was like you guys, and somebody handed him a list of, here are the characters in this movie, here's what they look like, oh my God. and you're just allowed to just put them in yeah, whatever just roles like, I you have want. Someone, well, like, my questions were like, well, I see a guy in, in boxing gloves. Well, that seems like that's for the indoors <laughs> and not for the streets. <laughs> like, I'm genuinely, but whatever. Well, I'll, Bal- I'll, I'll you're talking about Balrog. 
right? Out. Yeah, Balrog. Yeah. His level in the video game is actually it's on the red carpet. I think outside of a boxing match on the street. So he he oh, does so fight he on the street. Is in on the, the game. streets. Now I will say that Stephen D'Souza, <laughs> the writer director of this movie, did not want to make a generic martial arts movie after the disaster of Super Mario Brothers, and he described the film as a cross between Star Wars, James Bond, and a war film. And uh, he didn't want to shoehorn in Star element. Wars and a war film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 of course, because yeah, there's, uh, yeah, there's no similarities there. And he didn't want to shoe in, uh, shoehorn in elements of the games. Um, so he, so, but, but I would sorry, argue. I'm sorry. He said he did not want to shoehorn in elements of the game. Yes, he said he avoided the supernatural elements. <laughs> John, and are you okay, yeah. John? <laughs> well. I just t- I would yeah I would say that they are incredibly shoehorned at certain points. All the characters are shoehorned. Uh, an oil drum says Capcom on yes. the top at one point. Yes, the magic uh, the magic uh. act part. Yeah, signature moves and phrases are essentially shoehorned in there. Uh, well, yeah, it's incredibly shoehorned. The whole movie, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it is incredibly shoehorned. I would argue also like uh, Chun Li is our. Our way in. I mean, she's the news. She's a re, the fearless reporter who we find out has just gotten into reporting because she needed to do research on Bison to get close to, to get to him so she could kill him. Yes, because he killed her father. And she gives a very dramatic monologue about how Bison came into her town. And oh, uh, this was actually I liked this. This is a this great interaction. A very long uh, really monologue good. and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you know she killed her father and family and everybody in her village, and you know. And does anyone remember the exact quote? Because well, she I remember, says yes. she says something along the lines of like you remember like it. He says what was the mo- what was the day that you will never forget or something like that. The most important day of your life or the worst to me, day of your life, yeah. the day that w- bison came into your life. Like. He says something along the lines of like what was the worst day of your life? It was Tuesday for was me. Was a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty great line. Like, because she says, and she can't because she can't believe she's telling him you killed my father. Do you remember? Blah blah. blah. Can't remember. And and he basically is like, I have no recollection of the story you're telling. Me oh, here it is. Here it is. It goes. You and your bullies were driven back by farmers with pitchforks. My father saved his village at the cost of his own life. You had him shot as as you ran away, a hero at a thousand paces. And then Bison says, "I'm sorry, I don't remember any of it." Then Chun Li says, "You don't remember." Then Bison says, for you, the day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for mm. me, it was a Tuesday. <laughs> so he remembers the, what day it was. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, was that true to the game? Did he <laughs> kill him on a Tuesday? <laughs> I don't know. All, ah! <laughs> all the street fights took place on a Tuesday in the yes, game. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I loved that character for a couple of reasons. Chun Li, when she goes undercover, it's in the middle of the day, and she puts on an all black like yep. ninja suit. <laughs> but it's in the middle of the day, yep. and she is un- and she's trying to follow a homing beacon, and she follows the homing beacon to another, another home. homing beacon. Yes. <laughs> there is that a line. There is follow. there is literally a line. There's a prison break, and the prisoners get on a truck and they drive out of the city. Yes. Um, uh, they decide Chun-Li, to do their prison break in the middle of the base, which yeah. was a weird thing. Like, why don't you wait until the truck gets out yeah. of the prison base? And why were they transporting Sagat with all of his men? Yes, all together. Oh, because, well, that was because to get a prison break to happen. That was on purpose, right? Because that's the okay. fake. That's the Jean Claude Van Damme shooting scene. That's the fake out so that they can get their guys, their spies in. Anyway, whatever. Prison break. Okay, but was so Jean Claude so, Van Damme expecting them to break out of the prison, or did he yes. just want them to think yes. that? Okay, okay. What that's he what wanted he was for them. Stuff. Yeah. What he no, I know that, for, but I thought he just wanted to ingratiate those two with the eye patch did, but, guy. Well, I, did, I didn't gonna, know that they had to break out of the prison. Yes, because okay. basically then the, he's got guys within the working organization, not just in with them in prison. And it would lead okay. them to bison. Yeah, which they do. Um, which is a great plot point, but here's where I'm confused. <laughs> Wait, I just want to oh, say right, this, right, this right. one line. So, Chun, what's her name? Chun-Li? Chun-Li. Throws a homing beacon on the thing, and then she says to her guys, okay, well... We're probably not the, we got to find them because we're probably not the only people who put a homing beacon on that truck. And I was like, what? <laughs> you, no, 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 no. You're probably say, not? What, are you, what, are you, what the fuck are you talking about? You're 100% the only person who threw a homing beacon onto that truck. <laughs> That's, that was not a normal thing. 
Well, Ken and Ryu had a homing beacon also. <laughs> Ken and Ryu did it too? Yeah, because well, they used the track where... Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. They're I see in the van saying. and they're yes. like, we're getting interference. Is it the wind or whatever? And they're like, no, it's too <laughs> constant. It must be another homing beacon. We're probably not the only people that put a homing beacon on that truck. I don't know. That just that made me laugh. <laughs> well, but by the way, there is no, that reason, and Jean there is no reason why they should know it because yeah. to the world, it was a prison break. Yeah. So... Why would someone else be putting a beacon on that truck? Like, why? And I think she put it together that it was. Oh, it was. Yeah. Well, but but now here's my. This is where I'm confused, <laughs> because when she does follow that homing beacon, she like we said, John Claude Van Damme fakes his death. She's like sneaking around in this room, and there's John Claude Van Damme. Morgue. Yeah, the uh, morgue. Yes. Okay. How do you know it's the morgue? Oh, because there's a different. There's color. a skeleton. <laughs> Well, there's and also body parts and the body board. parts yeah. and different colors of water. There's, it is like the most lame. Like the props for this were preposterous. It's the first would, time I noticed set design. Go, that was bad. It yeah. looks like it's like a science class, and a, it is a, a laboratory. <laughs> There was or a, a laboratory. Guy, there was a guy actually <laughs> dis- dissecting a frog. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, really uh, but so she goes into the morgue where it's a very sparse morgue, only where one body is there, and uh, and there's John Claude Van Damme's body, and then he pops up. And he's like, "Hey, yeah, I'm not dead. I, I wore this comical blood pack thing." Which, by the way, so was he just How waiting in the morgue? Yeah. yeah so wait a minute, under a blanket. So, yeah. yeah. He he got shot. Yes. Then we have the then she throws a homing beacon. Yes. Then we have the scene where they are in the van determining that there's another homing beacon. Yeah. In which she's she turning into clothes. a ninja. <laughs> yeah. She hops out. She does a crawl through. You know, I think there was another scene in there. It's been like yes. probably been an hour. Oh, 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 at the least. <laughs> and he is just lying on the slab the whole time. Well, and by the way, we didn't even, when he does, when John claude does get shot, the medical team runs over to him and immediately, like, a guy puts on, like, a little briefcase that has a big cross on it. And then another guy comes up with a big tarp and just covers him. Like, oh, yeah, he's dead. There was no they resuscitation. Nope. I mean, so were they in on it? I don't know. Maybe. But still. But there's it, also a million cover. tourists, for some reason, taking pictures. Because he's also kind of a celebrity colonel, yeah. right? Well, yeah, because he does those WWF shout-outs all the time to well, Bison. Well, that's what was unclear is how th- – they were acting as if this was a global crisis. Yeah. But really it feels like just a local – Very local. – warlord thing. Like, yeah, like it's something that happened in like Myanmar or something. Yeah. It's a very small – So now what was the relationship oh, wait, oh, so between – I just want to talk about him being in the – so he's in there. Like, So he – so 40 minutes, easily 40 minutes passes – and he's just lying there? Yeah, still well, like a corpse. He's in his role as a corpse. I well, think and the homing was... beacon thing led them there. Sorry. So his homing beacon thing, he's like put my homing beacon on him? receptor in, in the, the morgue. morgue next to me. No, that's that big machine with the rotating satellite dish that yeah. says homing beacon. <laughs> I was like, is this for fucking real? What the fuck is this nonsense? And here's the thing. The minute he's, he's – so he basically has faked his own death and set up this whole thing to ingratiate his spies with the blah, 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 blah. Anyway, the minute he gets brought back in, he should be up and in motion. He should yeah, be, like, Let's go, it's go where time. are they going? What's yeah. going on? Let's follow the signal. He is lying under a sheet in the morgue, <laughs> pretending to be a, in, an going, room, in an empty room. In an empty room. He's in an empty room. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have to That's act dead for anybody. He's in an empty room. He's going full if GDL, she had not Daniel Day-Lewis yes. on it. He's going full method. If she had not shown up, what would he have done? Well, <laughs> he his cohorts, there. Kylie Minogue and the gang, do Kylie show Minogue. up. That oh, was boy. Kylie Minogue? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't Candy. know. Yeah, they show up a couple of seconds after, what's her name? Chun Li. Chun Li. So I think, I hope, I hope that he was waiting for them. To get up. Oh, but nobody seems surprised that he's like the guard well, that no, shows up. We never up. see the moment. And that's the weird thing about the movie is that we never see that moment of like people in the streets or anyone realizing or his own army. Oh, no. Realizing he, like, when oh, he he's is, alive. Yeah. When he's back yeah. in action. Nope. Doesn't matter. Like, doesn't nobody's like nobody's phased. Oh, I just got a question, too. What what were they trying to stop? Like what? Like the. He didn't, there was never a threat. Like he didn't say, "I'm going to launch missiles." Nope. I'm going to blow something up. Nope. Like he's going to kill the hostages. The hostages. But that's but, but but that's it. Like I mean, didn't he have to do the same device too? Or did he? Nope. Did he? Worst case scenario, you've got sixty dead UN workers and a and a dictator in charge of a, a small country. That's well, it. but it's not great. I mean, not I don't. Great, but it's you don't not think they t- should have gone in there? But it just seems like this guy is like, <laughs> where this guy's in a fucking palace. Are we, are we talking about sh- Iraq, yeah. guys? Are we talking about Iraq? I mean, it's not great. This is clearly an allegory for the first Gulf War. 
<laughs> I uh, one thing about this movie that I kept on thinking was this movie is racist. I just can't understand where they're what it, what country they're making like what yeah. they're saying. Like I was like, it's definitely stereotypical, but I just don't understand what country they're being stereotypical. Well, Shadaloo, but but wh- Shadaloo. who were the Shadaloo. who were the uh, who were the Shadaloians? Shadaloo-y. That and that that you're absolutely right. That's a big flaw in the movie is that we don't know who we're supposed to be caring about. Like, who there are we who protecting? Is in the, we don't know any of the hostages, aside from... Charlie. 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 And we barely well, know Well, and by him. the way, when they're escaping, they look like tourists. That's why I said yeah. they were tourists. They're, yeah. like, wearing, like... They have, like, comical cameras and, like, and like, yeah. like feather hats. They're so not, we and, have like, no... As audience members, we have no, like, interest. And that's why I think you, th- you think that saving 60 hostages is not a big deal, yeah. when, in fact, it is. But it's because we don't know these people. Well, it f- I mean, it feels like a Thailand-like country, but yeah. I want to bring up this specific when Balrog and E. Honda are getting essentially tortured. How do you yeah. remember the- oh, well, I know all these things. The yeah, game. yeah, yeah. I know all this. E- okay, first of all, you help those of us who. E. Honda is the, the sumo, sumo wrestler. wrestler yeah. And sumo the wrestler. Boxer. Boxer. Okay. Sumo wrestler who in the game is Japanese for some reason in this he's is Hawaiian. Hawaiian. And, and every, every time, time he's there. <laughs> there's Hawaiian music. Well, every time he gets whipped, <laughs> he's calm and like a. It's a little Hawaiian ukulele. They whip him like it's a scene from Passion of the Christ. Oh, yeah. Really and then sad. later on in the movie, when he takes off his shirt, you see those whip marks oh, on yeah. his back. But the guy who's whipping him yes. is a fat white guy or European. Yes. He's like yeah, he's white very guy. Like, Nordic looking. And when he starts whipping him, he says, this is how we treat foreigners in Shadaloo. So he's <laughs> a native of Shadaloo. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> I couldn't tell who the natives of Shadaloo were at you all. See, I almost thought that Shadaloo was this, like almost like the way that Dr. Doom uh, and... and Fan- uh, yeah, like that's like, I kind of thought this was his land and he was just kind of building this new mall and he needed, needed some money to build the new mall in a place that he already owned and it was a place where expats could come in and do whatever. Like in my oh, mind, wait, that's the kind of what really? he... Really? That's how I put it together. <laughs> oh, Sounds like God. a dream. Uh, uh, I, I couldn't figure I mean, out. I couldn't giant that, food court. That made it really hard because nobody had a country of origin that made no. sense for what they were doing. No, you know, because Jean Claude Van Damme is an American military leader. <laughs> yes. No, uh, Raúl Julia is an American leader, dictator of a foreign country. That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. His Jamaican because he's also kind of not. He, he doesn't seem ultimately foreign either. Like, wait a second. You're saying Raúl Julia was American? No, but he's, I, I mean, he didn't have an. Accent really? I yeah, mean, I'm, that's just, a, I, I'm not saying he was American, okay. but he was not like foreign. Yeah, that's in any way. He you know was I mean? not a native of Shadaloo. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Shadaloo. Yeah. I think he was. He was a Shadalooan. I think he was a Shadalooian. You see, ah, oh boy. <laughs> All right. I think he was too, but you're right. But is, so. Then is his Jamaican uh, right hand man? Shadowian? No, he's, he's definitely he's Jamaican because he wants to get back to Jamaica. to Jamaica. Oh, 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 sorry. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't get this movie at all. My favorite, uh, two of my favorite lines are when when Jean-Claude Van Damme says to a press conference, the war is canceled. Oh, yes. He says, oh, the war is canceled. I have this clip if you want to hear. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want this, to this is an hear. amazing clip. Here we go. The war is canceled. I just received new orders. It's a little long. Our superiors say the war is canceled. <laughs> we can all go home. I'm keeping it long My because. My son is getting paid up for his crimes. And our friends who have died here will have died for nothing. This character is American. <laughs> but we can all go home. The good recurring theme. Meanwhile, ideals like peace, freedom, and justice, they get packed up. But we can all no go home. home. You bring it back. You're coming to the best well, part. Well, I'm not going home. I'm going to get on my boat. <laughs> And I'm going up river, and I'm going to kick that son of a bitch bison's ass so hard that the next bison wannabe is gonna feel it. Now, who the wants to go one. home? And who wants to go with me? Yeah. Now that is the rousing. That is the patent moment of this movie. Beautifully scripted speech. I actually like that speech, and I thought it was delivered well. It's not the worst speech. I don't think speech. it's the worst speech. I, don't I think didn't it, think he delivered it poorly. I don't think so either. I like it. I just do like that he breaks out and oh, Jason disagreeing. Guys, I, I think. Did you? What <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> John, John almost fell out. <laughs> I mean, what is going on? Sean is holding the 
holding on to his headphones right now. Oh my god. He I think that the That, that was a terribly written speech <laughs> delivered <laughs> like garbage. That Look. was shameful. What just Gahom. What just happened was a war crime. That <laughs> and, and and while he's delivering the speech, we're panning around the uh, uh, soldiers, and they're nodding knowingly, and it's like as if we like love these characters. It's like this is what this guy. Yeah. Is, this is what, it's like we don't know these people. <laughs> <laughs> this whole movie treats all the characters like they're classics yeah. that we love, just because they're two dimensional video game yeah. characters. Well, well that's, and, a, that's and Jason, big... I will say, I didn't feel this speech was as stirring when I watched it, and maybe because it was because of all the cutaways to the extras. But, but listening when listen to, to it. No. What are you, t- June? I did like it better. Thank this you, time. John. I, 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 there is a rhythm to it that I like. I will. Uh, <laughs> I, I will just. Can we play the scene where um, uh, it's uh, the shit. one? Uh, uh, we're gonna play. This is a scene where someone questions John Claude Van Damme about his uh, his decision here. Uh, this is the next scene right after that. Here we go. Colonel, yes. A single boat against everything he's got. The pilot would have to be out of his mind. Luckily, Bison has driven me crazy. So I'm gonna do it. Synchronizer watches, <laughs> zero 0500, gas stuff at it. zero 0600. I just love it that, like, you have to be out of your mind. Luckily, I am out of my mind. <laughs> like, yeah, not only that, but, like, there are... Full stop pauses between every word both of those characters are saying. Oh my well, god, guys, guys, and guys. And synchronize your watches so everybody just come on their own. Yeah. <laughs> An hour. Guys, you got responsible. I just, we were talking about the writing. You know what this guy wrote? This is Steven D'Souza. He wrote Die Hard. No. Yes. No. He wrote 48 Hours. No. He wrote Commando. No. Jumping Jack Flash. I don't think you're right. No. Um, no, no. Uh, yes. And then it it's goes down now, D'Souza. but now it goes downhill. Another forty-eight hours. Okay. Die Hard Two, Hudson Hawk, The Flintstones, oh Beverly Hills Cop Three, Judge Dredd, Street Fighter, oh boy. Wow. Um, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, and then that's and then he kind of stopped after that. Wow. But that there was a period where he was on fire. On fire. And Die Hard is an amazing script. I mean, yeah. just in terms of story, like, it's so, so good. Basically, from 1990 forward, things go downhill for Steven D'Souza. Wow. Well, yeah. Francis Ford Coppola did Jack, so. <laughs> True. <laughs> no. So, I, so it's possible. <laughs> Can I bring up the boat ride. Oh, yes, Van please. Damme's boat ride the stealth, yes. to stealth the boat? attack. Yeah. By the way, the boat ride had to be written in last minute because the people of Thailand did not want an air attack. He was supposed to really? fly in, yes, as an Air Force pilot, but uh, they needed to transform it to a boat because like, Thailand's like, no, 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 you can't do like stuff in the air. Well, that's funny. So but, yeah. that's his... why he wasn't in the Air Force in this. Right. Ooh. So his stated plan is I'm going to go up the east bank yes. and cause a distraction while the whole force comes in. Is the, okay, see, I didn't That's what he ahead. said yes. in, the, in the briefing. <laughs> <laughs> and then first, <laughs> his tape, he puts a tape oh, in. Uh, what a TV in the, the fuck was this? <laughs> he puts a home movie tape in. He puts yeah. like a beta tape. <laughs> yeah. He literally That's loads crazy. a beta tape into a video screen yeah. in his boat in his that boat. I believe he is driving. Yo, yeah. he's definitely driving that boat. And he watches home movies. In the boat. Of, him, of him and Charlie. And Charlie. Well, it's sort By the of way, like who was to... shooting it? Because it was like a, a scene where they're at a bar. Like, it was not like a home video. I thought that they were like at an outside cafe. <laughs> but who's taping? <laughs> who's making home videos and that has like while people are eating it? And, <laughs> and also, I thought this is the video where we see who his loved one was that, that Bison hurt. Exactly. Yes. Because he says to Chun-Li, this isn't about your vengeance. And then in an aside, it's about mine. But we never learned what his vengeance is. I believe is. it's Charlie. Charlie. I think it is the Charlie. The video is it's because, just Charlie. I think it's a love John, story between on, him and Charlie. Yeah, I agree because that is I think <laughs> you could look at that early scene between him and Bison when he's on the news when he calls out Charlie and say that okay, he knew Bison had Charlie early on and that was that was his motivation the entire time. But him and but but they give the sense that he and Bison have been locked in like a a, a Hatfield and McCoy warrior. kind of feud. Yeah. 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 Oh. Right, I mean, they're, they're I mean, that's what about I, meeting each other on the oh, the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. Eh. 
<laughs> no, th- I feel Who like knows? I feel like there's a lot of like things Who that we're... fucking knows. <laughs> I also the like at one point the bad it. guys are all talking, though, and something happens, and then the the guy gets up and just goes, "This conclave is over." <laughs> Scott. Well, you could argue too, though. And I was like, that's an amazing line. Well, there's amazing lines. There's a few amazing lines. This is one I wrote down. I'm the repo man, and you're out of business. Great. Yep, oh, right. that's not what the repo man does. Yeah, that is not that is the repo, repo man, man does just not close takes business. his <laughs> property back from you. Uh, By the way, when he, I'm sorry to go back to the tape oh, again, but when he puts in that tape, you could actually argue that it shows his relationship with Charlie is not strong at all because he's going to save Charlie and a ton of other people. He should just be able to go save him and you know, do that out of his love and what's in his heart for this man. He shouldn't have to watch a videotape to sort of I think, <laughs> pump him up yeah. to well, keep yeah, his on reasons going. reasons for watching that tape at that moment are, are very, are, are, I don't know. I don't uh, know what are the reasons? <laughs> I think it's Why just to remind us them? what the stakes are for him. It's about just saving his us. best bro. I want. I just. I'm sorry to go back to another line, but I just feel like it needs to be said. Another character at one point goes, "I like my games live and in living color." Yeah, Sagat. Says yeah. So again, not really like. <laughs> it's another weird line. Not not a, not a clever line. Not. I mean, the cleverest line in the movie, in my opinion, was when Chun Li spits, and they say, "Hey." You're gonna dehydrate yourself. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was a good line. It's also like, a great line when the big um, the big Ophi guy says when they're watching, he's they're watching on TV. Yeah, the whole news team is about to attack them, and that during oh, the yeah. celebration, he's like, "Change the channel." <laughs> oh yeah, that was a good, he, that just, was a... he delivers those lines so well. Beautiful basically, line. Chun Li's plan was to record a live newscast of her setting a bomb that would be running into their village. Now, oh, yeah. meanwhile, if she did not alert them to this newscast... It would have succeeded. And they, yeah. Yes. But instead, she decided to out herself moments before Wait, the truck loaded with... how about the with- craziness of that scene is that uh, Bison has captured everybody. Everybody's been captured. It's like a big room and blah, 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 blah. And there's lots of hubbub, hubbub. And then there's a moment of quiet. And you can hear Chun Li's voice... Being like, this is Chun Li yeah. reporting, <laughs> reporting from blah blah blah, and it, it, they literally it, everybody in the room stops, goes over, opens a door to a different room <laughs> yes. where there's a television on. Well, there's a lot. I mean, there's a what lot. What the fuck is that about? Why is that the delivery de- system? It was a delicate plan to just hope there was a lull. Holy in the shit, that was so crazy. Well, well I mean, that scene, that whole. Se- that coming off of Chun Li escapes from her ninja thing. Yes. When she finds John Claude in the thing. The very next scene, she's in costume with her guys. They're all in costume. They've infiltrated Bison's yes. place. Yes. And you would not know it. I, like June and I did not know. I, I like June's like, oh, there's Chun Li, and I'm like, she was right. They've got there's no yeah. yeah. There's no way to show. Like, ah, wait, how is she there? They've got a performance that they've prepared. Oh yeah, like, that's right. Uh, I think I those couldn't must figure that out at all. Scenes. I think they must have shot that and didn't include it. This conclave is <laughs> over. <laughs> well, then I love that scene. Sagat has brought they, they brought the weapons, right? Yeah. I don't know where they got the weapons because the other weapons is shot Sagat tennis the balls. Eye patch guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they're they're all passing. They're, they're all impressed with the. <laughs> they all pass around this one gun. <laughs> yeah. Every yes. every bad guy Amazing. character Has holds hold the it. gun, cocks it, slaps it, <laughs> looks down the barrel like they're caresses <sighs> it. They pass around this gun, determine it's great, and then Bison leans over to Sagat and goes, basically, hey. Instead of money, you want part of the country? Like, yeah. why would he offer him a part of yeah. the country? Yeah. He's got, they've got a deal for money. Yeah. Why does he want to give him the country? Why would you give him that much power? <laughs> why he's, would you? Yeah, I, I, it, well, it was I, nonsense. Yeah, I think he's full of a lot of false promises. I, I, I mean, again, it just goes to the fact that someone did not figure out what were the stakes of the movie. There was a lot, it was a lot of characters going in here. It was gobbledygook. So many characters. Uh, Sander Van Oakley, right? Or uh, Oker, right? That's a real person. That's a real Ooh. CNN, oh, uh, yeah. CNN re- correspondent who shot a cameo for this movie oh. on a view yeah, screen. I was kind of bummed that there wasn't a real love story in the movie between Van Damme and one of those ladies. Well, I think Kylie Minogue was supposed to be that, right? 
Well, it wasn't explored. No, it feels like he Chun-Li says, at the end. It's yeah. Chun-Li because he says he'd like to like, he, she's his type or something like that. Wear this outfit when we do the interview. Or... Yeah. yeah. There was some. And he walks around her and then delivers that line. But Kylie Minogue in, first of all, why is she wearing a turtleneck under Who knows? her uniform the entire time? She's wearing a bright blue turtleneck under it. But she starts to cry when she thinks. Yeah. I I, again, think she I has don't know video on... games, but is that stuff explored at all? Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> video game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. the video game, there's a whole love level. There. Okay, you guys are kidding. Uh, so, but I in the video say... game, he doesn't have like a love interest. Or, okay. I will... Giles, <laughs> not. I mean, the, the, I would. I would argue that Ken and Ryu are, are the more main the main characters of the video game universe than Giles. That's what I would say too. In my limited knowledge of just playing it at video game places when I was a kid. I like that game. <laughs> when you were a kid, as we've established, in your 20s. In the early 20s. <laughs> when you were a kid seeing the Spice when Girls I, movie and I, going yes, to the arcade. Exactly. That, when I'm like that young, young 26 <laughs> at the video arcade, just button smashing. Um, the, uh, man, I'm just, there, there's, I'm just trying to think of I also thought there was very little fighting in yeah. this movie. Very like, little. Very little. Like, right, for a movie that is called Street Fighter. And you would want to, I wanted to see a lot more one on one fights. And even like when, um, when, uh, oh, now I'm forgetting his name, the big fat guy, um, E Honda attacks Zangief. A lot of it was just a lot of like, I'm going to jump on you. Like it wasn't even like fighting. It was like, I mean, and finally, like Raul Julia and Guile have a little bit of a fight, but. And there's no, they don't have any of like the powers that in the game, in the game, some of these people have like, Secret moves that you can throw fireball, right? Isn't that the yeah. game, or is that the uh, Mortal Kombat? No, 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 that, no that's, that, that's yeah, true. right. Okay, that Ray, Ryu shoots uh, fireballs at right, or that's uh-huh. Ken. Yeah, they both do. Um, now, Lieutenant <laughs> Lieutenant Cammy, uh, that's Kyle, Kylie Minogue. She's not a character in the game. Cammy, DJ, and uh, T Hawk, uh-huh. the the other guy who's always with them. That at a certain uh-huh. point. Yeah. Only to out that it's that character Van Damme goes, hey, T-Hawk, why are you wearing that bandana? Oh, my God. Which they do as an ADR line in a wide <laughs> shot. Uh, yeah. Cammy, T-Hawk, and uh, 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 DJ were car- were not in the original. They were in Super Street Fighter 2. That's when uh, they were introduced. Okay. Got it. <laughs> so what was your overall takeaway, John? Um, I thought that... Uh, it's it's a lot to have to do to write a movie about a video game and like hold you know live up to all these specifics right yeah. but i don't know why you have to deviate like bloodsport is a pretty good template for a movie like this it's essentially yep. a movie about right. people that square off against mm-hmm. each other and it has subplots and stuff but it's done pretty well yeah so it seems like an easier task to me to just go we'll have the characters they will, you know, will will give it. I mean, it didn't even have the style of the game, you know, like like there were no like, yeah, there was no kind of like. I kept thinking people were going to come up in like a facing each other, yeah, two shot like like the, like the game, and somebody was going to go fight, basically, you know, yeah, or at least open the movie like that, like give you some, give you, some, give me a little bit of fighting. There's so much fucking guns in this movie, and there are boats, and it's like it's. It really is just saying, like, this is popular, right? We'll just take yeah. these characters yeah. and dump them in here and we'll, we'll put a pulp plot. But isn't there, like, a call from Jean-Claude Van Damme at, during the final showdown where he's like, let's not use weapons, like, let's just do it, it all? Well, I actually have that clip. You can hear why. He gets very upset because uh, apparently Bison has a very uh, impressive suit that can resuscitate him from the dead. Um, now, did he have electrical shooting powers before he got electrocuted or... Was that mm. just afterwards? Oh, I don't know. I, I also know. do want to say, anytime anyone is pushed into an electrical yeah. box or a pipe, it explodes into sparks and steam. Yeah. yeah. It's like well, the worst. The poor, yeah, they're all made out of balsa wood. <laughs> yeah. The poor doctor gets it the worst. He's shoved into everything. Yeah. <laughs> every, the, that guy, every single thing he could be shoved into, he is. What I, what I really actually love about movies like this is like, and, and I know it's like, well, this is like a cheap thing to pick on, but... You know, so he's creating this super soldier, uh, Bison. And at the end of the movie, he's revealing his super soldier. But he has built, like, this elevator system to reveal it with these, like, spikes on either side. Like, it's a really cool reveal. But it would only really be used once. Like, it would, there's yeah. no functioning to it. And I understand, like, lots of movies, whatever. But 
it does just crack me up. It's like, okay, so in a couple of days, I'm going to release this guy. So and first I want like spears to come out of the ground. Really make it look cool. And then we'll build a special elevator. But I, I and do want it's staged in the hostage pit. It is called the hostage yeah. pit several yep. times. Um, there Wait, Kylie like Minogue system. straight up snaps the dude's neck in this movie, right? Yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of neck snappings. <laughs> there was a lot of neck snapping. <laughs> <laughs> but no blood. I think that's how they got away with no blood. Yeah, Peter it was just like snap neck, snap neck, yeah. which is a violent act. A, a snap neck is a violent oh, act. Yeah. Yeah. M- more violent than shooting. Something. I yeah. also love the moment where Bison has DJ check his Swiss bank account. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so there must have been a scene that we don't see where Bison gives his Swiss bank account routing number to the AN. Yeah. <laughs> and says deposit. Yep. The, what's and, the point? Wait, and the account balance is zero. <laughs> yeah, it is a zero. <laughs> so he has no money in the account. And it's just waiting for it to say twenty billion. Uh, a Swiss bank account is when you're keeping your money secret, right? Yeah, What's yeah. the point of having a Swiss bank account? I guess you could, you could. I think you can uh, wire money into it without any problem. But, but I don't why know. not Still. cash? Why? But by the way, yeah. Why would you reveal that that's the account that you would like? It would be yeah. Well, the it is. They would seize his. They would freeze that account. Yeah, and they could easily go. Yeah, it's in there. And then the minute, the minute he like, he, <laughs> it was so funny that thing. Account balance zero, <laughs> zero, and they. It refreshes account balance zero. Wait, oh yeah, I forgot. I mean, again, this movie was made in the in the nineties, right? It was made in nineteen ninety four. Even then, for that time, the graphics were so shitty. And there's a part of the movie where they just put computer graphics on the screen for a long time, like longer than you think. Or it's like you're just seeing like Ryu and Ken captured and maps coming down. It's like watching like oh, yeah. it's like watching like ten loading screens of a computer. Again, it's not great for radio here, but I will tell you that it's a hilarious scene of just bad graphics that doesn't reveal anything. <laughs> what about the uh, E Honda Zangief? Godzilla send oh up my god security camera footage to, and, and, and the Japanese people to are Japanese watching characters, yeah. yeah all the movie by the way is to, uh, clearly in a foreign country you would argue that everyone there is speaking a language that's not English but then all of a sudden you run into these two Japanese people they have a, you meet them for the first time they have a Japanese conversation turn on security camera and then he they're says, watching let's watch the security footage this might be strategically important <laughs> That's right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and then all he sees is this, these two large guys wrecking Bisonopolis, his, yeah. his new place, like Godzilla. Did they add Godzilla sound yes. effects in there yeah. as well? <laughs> really How breaking about the when Raul Julia <laughs> is trying to seduce Chun-Li and there's a painting of a clown on the wall. That was him. That was a him. Painting of him. It's, oh, a, it's actually. A, it was actually a cheat. It was actually <laughs> the same painting that that was in John Wayne Gacy's house. It was like a nod oh, to Jesus that. Christ. So that's how deep this movie went. Again, levels, levels, and levels and levels. I can't handle this. Uh, obviously, we had opinions about this movie, but there are other people who <laughs> uh, thought it was a lot better than us. Um, these are five star reviews, cold from Amazon, in a segment we call a second opinion. Yet this person recommends it Tell me what is the message Maybe that art is subjective I need a second opinion Oliver Clare writes, The climax is breathtaking And some parts <laughs> are very, very funny Like the part when Bison's troops surround Guile high up on Bison's headquarters with massive rifle, rifles, and Guile responds by grinning with confidence and pulling out a pen knife. Ha <laughs> ha! It's only <laughs> then that the camera moves and we see Guile's troops are behind him with even bigger guns. To sum it up, Street Fighter has its funny sides, ultra violence, tactical espionage, and swear words. 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's all the requirements. By oh, the my way, God. I did, Swear words. Does anyone else feel like every all of the men had hair that had been dyed orange? Yes. yes. That was like a very 90s, like early 90s thing that was happening. Like it was like they were. Well, I mean, Guile has blonde hair, so they had to do his hair. Well, like I, that. But his hair can't be that color. I mean. It looked like they were trying to get them blonde, and they landed on this strange color for both of them. Yeah. Well, the guy Guile the character Heather. in the video game has very striking hair. It's actually, like, very large. It's, like, sort of large yeah. and flat on top and very blonde. And I, I think they didn't go actually go far enough with Van Damme's hair. I, I, the uh, color of it is just not a color. I guess what I'm saying is it just doesn't exist in nature. Like, both of them right. had yeah. very strangely colored hair. 
Um, they did. Indeed. <laughs> um, we could take up with their stylist. I want to read this other one here. There's another review that uh, these, these two are some of my favorite reviews ever. This is my favorite DVD. It deserves a hundred rewards. And it, uh, I love this movie so much, I will never sell it for a million dollars. And that's my opinion. So don't ever disrespect it. Buy this movie <laughs> for everyone who wants a good movie. Five stars. Amazing. Followed up by this one. This, first of all, this movie is excellent. And don't ever, and this means you, Daniel A. McClelland, say <laughs> that again. You're insulting the stars who are in this movie, like Jean-Claude Van Damme, Raul Julia, Ming Yang, Damien Chappie, Kyle Minogue, and Wes Studi. They did very well. And don't underestimate a great movie, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Five stars. So that was a very personal oh God, Amazon review. Um, some things that you guys should think about. Fabio was considered for the role of Vega. Amazing. Okay. And this is the one thing that really jumped out at me. The AN Forces radio DJ was played by Adrian Cronauer, who was the actual DJ that they based Good Morning Vietnam he says on. Good, he says, Good, Good Morning, morning Chateau. So it is not, wow. it's not wow. referencing Good Morning Vietnam. It is actually the guy that, that guy. they based wow. Good Morning Vietnam on That's pretty to interesting. play that guy. Well, how about like? the comical PA announcements throughout the whole movie? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. They were very, uh, was like, what they, they had, like, don't they were dr- getting like, jokes uh, off left and right with it. Yeah. Adrian Cronauer, yeah. that's the guy. He's a funny guy. You got to get the interesting. best. Interesting. Like, don't get Robin Williams. I bet you they went to Robin Williams to be Adrian Cronauer, and then they <laughs> they had to get the. But there was also AN base announcements that was like, "What do you do if a yeah. if a bison soldier throws a grenade at you?" And also like pull the pin. Health, and the yeah. health insurance <laughs> announcements. Yeah, yeah. Um, anything that we missed? Anything anyone wants to bring oh, up before this we? Was terrible. <laughs> um, uh, what do I want to say? Oh, well, the movie starts with them tracing the phone call. To fi- oh, they're, right. they're trying to find television. Bison. Yes. They're trying to find for, Bison is a boat ride away. Yes. Right? They're trying to find his base for most of the movie. There's several times in the movie when they cut to a satellite in space, like seeing like everything going on, and they're tracing the fucking phone call in the beginning of the movie. Why can't they find this guy? By what the way, the he problem? lives in a temple. Like yeah. a beautifully ornate temple. It is not hard to find him. That should not have been one of the things it's that difficult. happened in this movie. Oh boy, oh boy. I recommend watching it. I actually I enjoyed it. I feel like it's one of those movies that is like very watchably bad. It's on Netflix instant. It don't cost no, you nothing. Is it? Oh no, you're no, right. It's no, not. it's not. It's, it's on it's uh, like a $2 iTunes, iTunes rental. But Three rent- for HD. Yeah, you got to get in. I, uh, yeah, I, I, it was I, shot I went, in HD. I went ah. with standard <laughs> definition on this one. <laughs> um, you know, uh, we have a, a, it's a sponsor shout out here. This guy, Mike Hanley, donated over a $100 uh, to the show. So thank you, Mike. And for you, Mike, we are going to play something that we only played on a mini episode, and I've been meaning to play it on the actual show. Uh, this is a, a clip. I don't even know how you describe it, but a musical interlude of – of the show, all the literallys pulled together, all the different quotes, everything at all uh, that was actually uh, made oh, this by is the supercut. A supercut, oh. and how did this get made? Supercut. So, and enjoy that. For those of you who have not heard it, I think you'll really like it. Hello, people of Earth. Hello, people of Earth. Hello, people of Earth, and welcome to How Did This Get Made? I watched this movie at ten o'clock this morning. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> And it literally blew my mind. Cher literally puts makeup on Christina Aguilera and literally the image on the screen. That movie should literally be called Wigs. Every choice they make in the movie is literally, they're literally, it literally, Stanley Tucci will literally. And it's an excuse for Cher to literally, even the explanation makes no sense. (laughs) It makes no sense. Sense. It yeah, made no sense. It made no sense. Made no sense whatsoever. It makes no sense guys- to deliver lines that make no <laughs> sense. <laughs> That's insane. literally a line. We, we, uh, literally, as we, there's a guy who literally is, she, she literally wakes up. Wet- oh God, oh. that was upsetting. It's really upsetting, actually. It was yeah. actually really upsetting. Oh, it's so upsetting. It's so upsetting. Because it is really together. upsetting. That's the plane so lands. Upsetting. That was the, upsetting. Actually, I found that really upsetting. That was upsetting. Yeah, it's really upsetting. upsetting. It yeah, really it's is like so absurd. upsetting. Okay, that was so upsetting. That was so upsetting. It's so upsetting. This movie I found very upsetting. 
so <laughs> upsetting. Um, that scene upset me. The title really upset me, too. She literally, her body is ripped apart by this demon. Literally, she is whipped. Literally ripped. This movie instantly makes no sense. The entire movie <laughs> makes zero sense. Up. It kicks in here in the third act where it goes bonkers. His performance is bonkers. His yeah. team was bonkers. <laughs> All of the fucking crazy bonkers. Straight up crazy. Super crazy bonkers. It is a bonkers, insane world. Yeah. It's bonkers. <laughs> that is bonkers. <laughs> she must be so bonkers. I gotta upload this bonkers next level crazy horror movie. And Tiny that little shit boy is bonkers. <laughs> literally, literally says like, it's it literally. Is. They were literally. It, I literally, I know people have been writing on the boards that I say literally, literally all the time. Yeah. It's wow. literally that movie. And I know I say literally a lot, guys. You don't have to write about it on the boards. <laughs> it makes no sense. It made no sense. It makes no sense. This makes no sense. That's literally. A, <laughs> literally. They literally just. And literally. Yeah, that whole sequence where she got into the cab ten different ways was crazy. It's like she, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. So that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like, that was crazy. Whoa. This shit is crazy. Well, it was crazy. This that I know. is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Here. Absolutely crazy. I was like, this is Maybe. absolute yeah. insanity. I was like, this movie is insanity. Like, you're literally, I was like, this is absolutely insane. <laughs> absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. <laughs> that is insanity. It's amazing. This is amazing. This oh is my an God. amazing scene. That though. scene is oh. amazing. Oh, that's I amazing. That. Amazing. Amazing performance. It's, it's amazing. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. She was amazing. Amazing. Oh, for, for, the rest of the police department is acting like dildos. Everybody talks like a fucking dildo in this movie. <laughs> You've never been in battle, you dumb dildo. That None of this sad. makes sense. It makes sense. No sense. The helicopter scene is insane. His mustache is insane. His wig is out of control. It's out of control. This is bananas. And Which that... is bananas. Cause, and it's literally... That uh, literally is literally lime. It will literally... I forget how fucking insane this movie was. This is fucking insane. They literally... That literally, they showed the... the car literally... When they're... They, they literally... It's mental. It's Keep on mental. improvising. We... It's mental. It, it was mental. Absolutely. And that's yeah. the whole reason. Yeah. Mental. Man, oh man. Oh man. Oh terrible. boy, oh boy. Man, oh man. Oh god. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Did... Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh boy, oh boy. 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 You mean what after? And I was like, oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh brother. Oh brother. Oh brother. Oh brother. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's literally. He's like. Literally, oh, literally, God. like literally, it, 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 it makes no sense. What the <laughs> fuck is happening? And I was like, what the fuck and is happening? The, what the fuck is happening? So in, what the fuck is the big, happening? By the, I was like, what is they happening right with now? Their, and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I was like, what is happening? What is happening? I was like, what is happening? Like, I'm what dating is happening? Her. What is happening? What's now, happening? What's happening? <laughs> what, what is can, happening? Like, what is going on? Like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? What? What is going yeah. on? What is going on? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? It. What are you talking about? Yeah, I've got to say, though, that moment made me really bummed out. That Does really it, bummed he, me he, out. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> who the fuck knows? knows? Who, knows? who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who knows? Yes. Who knows? Well, here, Shut up, dum dums. Blow on it, dum dum. Guess what? Dum dum. Fuck. You dumb dumb. Yeah. He literally, where he's like, literally, he literally, he literally goes, like, this person is literally. Let's get to the meat of this fucking movie. Literally. Uh, How did it get made? I literally am like, I don't know. That, of course, was the How'd This Get Made Supercut made by Kevin Porter. Thank you, Kevin, for all the time that it took you to make that. Kevin also is behind the Aaron Sorkin Supercut. If you haven't seen that, it's. Awesome. Uh, it's pretty damn amazing. So thank you, Kevin Porter. All right. John, thank you so much for being thank with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, it was awesome. I'm glad. Oh. June, do you feel like you – I would like you to, before we leave, just explain your idea of what a street fighter is. <laughs> yeah.
I think a Street Fighter <laughs> is some. I'm I'm gonna say someone. Don't look to John. Who, okay, someone who fights in the street outside. Yep. I think that's probably pretty So you, you, you think the it. movie you think the movie is invalidated by the indoor fighting. Yeah, all the interior shots mean nothing to me. <laughs> okay, that's a very strong point of view. Um, all right. That is all uh, as always. Uh, John, what are you on Twitter? How can they follow you? Oh god. I uh, uh, I don't tweet you much, don't tweet? I gotta okay. say, but uh, it's at Gemberlicking. There it is. Uh, you can follow me at Paul Shear. At Miss June Diane. Not on Twitter, guys. Uh, definitely check out Burning Love Season 3 right now on yeah. uh, at burninglove.com. Uh, my comic book, Alien vs. Parker, is out in stores right now. Issue 2 on newsstands or at Comicology. You can get it there. Uh, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>